It's Rod and Mandy from the Cat Country Morning Show, and we're on the prowl. This time we are in downtown Truro visiting the Truro Police Service. Do you think I can drive one of those? I don't think so, Rod DeViller. Why not? I'm pretty sure you have to be an actual police officer to drive one of them. We should go inside. Yeah. All right, at the uh, Truro Police Service is Constable Todd to Taylor, and uh, where are we? We are in the Truro Police Service Forensic Identification Unit. So that means we can solve a crime in one hour, right? No. Just like on TV. No. <laughs> no. no. What happens here? This is where uh, evidence that's uh, seized at a crime scene is processed for hair and fiber or fingerprints or any other sort of evidence that we might hope to be able to, to obtain to solve crime. This is a... Uh, Humor uh, case, I guess they call it, um, where traditional fingerprints are not able to be raised. Oftentimes we can raise them uh, using this device. Uh, believe it or not, it's uh, crazy glue or super glue that's heated within the chamber, and uh, oftentimes it'll raise the fingerprints on, uh, say, a plastic bag or paper or some other surface that's not uh, typically receptive to finger powder and uh, what this does is it uh, draws the dust down into uh, the apparatus to be filtered so it's not in the air. When an officer on the scene seizes uh, an item that he wants to log into evidence these lockers are used as a control system uh, what the officer will do is uh, he will tag the item and uh, slip it inside of the, the vault he'll take the key out put the item and the tag in with the key, close the door. And at that point, there's only one person who has custody of the, the exhibits, that's our IDENT officer, and uh, that way there's uh, security and, and it satisfies the courts that the uh, evidence has a, a chain of custody that's been recorded and it couldn't have been tampered with because there's only one person who has control and access to these items once it's been logged. I'm here with Constable Ketty, and one of the really cool things that the Truro Police Service has launched recently is an anti-texting campaign. Now, texting while driving is certainly an issue for the Truro Police Service. Uh, so, what is this campaign all about? Well, um, it's it's primarily about awareness. Uh, it's an alternative to uh, get the message out to the community instead of charging people uh, the expensive fines that accompanies the uh, the, uh, the offense. We have taken uh, a large order of, of thumb rings and we're giving it out to uh, schools in the community. Uh, we keep them in the back of our community vehicle here. I can show you. They're just bags. And there's just a friendly reminder. Just that texting, uh, the Truro Police Service wishes to remind you that texting while driving is illegal and becoming one of the leading causes of motor vehicle collisions. It's everyone's responsibility to keep our roads and community safe. So they simply just go over a person's thumb, and if they happen to have a cell phone and they're texting, it'll be a reminder. Inside the Truro Police uh, Service, and they've got a couple of display cases, they've got some great memorabilia, uh, some things that date back a lot of years. So this is one of them. We'll take a look at the other one in just a minute. Well, it's definitely been a very informative visit to the Toronto Police Station. Uh, you didn't get the cuffs put on you, so I guess that's a good day. Any day that we don't get the cuffs put on us is a great day. Very true, and hopefully this is the only time we will ever see the inside of the Toronto Police Service. It's Rod and Mandy. We're on the prowl today uh, at the Toronto Police Service.